In this illustration, we intend to calculate the maximum deflection of the beam using the strength of materials and the Abacus software and compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of the strength of materials subsequently. In this question, a triangular line load is applied to the beam and we intend to calculate the deflection caused as a result of this line load. The length of the beam is 1 meter and the cross section of the beam is 1 square with a side equal to 0.02 meters. The purpose of this problem is to calculate the maximum deflection of the beam using the Abacus software and strength of materials. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the beam. I will select the modeling space as 3D from here, deformable, wire and planar. Enter approximate size equal to 5, continue. I will draw a horizontal line. As you observe in this picture, the beam is 1 meter in length. Done. In the next step, I will enter property module. Click on create material here. I intend to define the properties of steel. I will click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. Young modulus of the steel is equal to 200 gigapascal. I will enter young modulus equal to 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 pascal. Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3 and OK. I will click on create section. From here, select beam, then beam again, continue. Then click on create beam profile, then select rectangular and continue. The cross section of the beam is one square with each side equal to 0 0.02 meters. OK and OK. I will click on assign section, select the beam, done and OK. In the next step, I will click on Assign Beam Orientation. Select the beam, done. Press on Enter button. And OK. In the next step, I will enter Assembly Module. Click on Create Instance. And OK. Then I will click on Translate Instance. Select the beam, done. First select this point, then Coordinates System. And OK. Then I will enter step module. Click on create a step. Here select static general and continue. Time period is equal to one second. Since this problem is linear by nature, I will select off option. OK. I will enter a load module. Click on create boundary condition. Select initial step, then displacement, rotation, and continue. I will select this point, done, and close all boundary conditions of displacement. As you observe in this picture, the left end part of the beam is absolutely fixed. I will click on create load, select step one, then line load, and continue. I will select the beam, done, Here, uh, we should define the triangular line load in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the amount of line load starts from zero and will increase up to 500 Newton per meter. I will enter the amount of this line load equal to negative one. Then I will click on create analytical field, continue. Here, we should define the relation of the line load in the Abacus software. As previously mentioned, the amount of line load starts from zero and will increase up to 500 Newton per meter. Actually, the line load 
has a triangular shape. As a matter of fact, the line load depends on x. Here I will select the analytical field 1 and OK. As you observed, the triangular line load was properly defined in the Abacus software. In the next step, I will enter mesh module. Click on seed part. Enter approximate global size equal to 0.01 meter, meters and OK. Then I will click on mesh part and yes. Then I will click on assign element type. Select the beam. Done. Put the element family on beam. OK. In the next step, I will enter step module. Click on tools menu. Then on set and create. Name this set deflection. Continue. Select this point and done. I will click on create history output. Continue. Here select set and then deflection. Here I will select U2 or the same vertical displacement and OK. I will enter job module. Click on create a job. Continue. OK. Click on Submit. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on Result. Here you can observe the deflection of the beam. As you observe, the maximum deflection of the beam is equal to 1.719 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 2 meters. Here we intend to solve this problem using the strength of materials. To solve this problem utilizing the strength of materials formula, first you should draw the free diagram of the beam, meaning that you should draw all the forces and moments having been applied to the beam. After that you should calculate the quantity of reaction forces and reaction moments. In the next step, you should calculate the uh, relation of uh, Vx using this formula. After that, you should get an integral of the relation of Vx in order to obtain moment formula. In the next step, we can calculate the quantity of deflection using this formula. In order to calculate the quantity of deflection, we should get integral of the relation of moment twice. Here you observe the way in which this problem can be solved. Actually, uh, we got integral four times in order to solve this problem. Having got the integral and simplified the relations, this formula will be obtained. We use this formula for calculating the quantity of deflection. E is the Young modulus of steel that is equal to 200 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 Pascal. Uh, I 
stands for the second moment of area, the formula of which can be observed here. W is the line load that is equal to 500 newton per meter. Finally, as the deflection of beam is equal to 0 0.0719 meters, and this quantity has been obtained from the strength of materials formula. Here we intend to calculate the maximum deflection of the beam using the Abacus software. I will click on Create XY Data, select ODB, History Output, and Continue. Here I will select the deflection and click on Save As. The maximum deflection having been obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 0 0.0171935 meters. As it can be observed, the results obtained from the Abacus software are so close to those of the strength of material indicating that this problem has been solved properly by the Abacus software. Here you can also observe maximum deflection of the beam using colored contours. Here the maximum deflection of the beam has been marked and displayed with blue color, the quantity of which is equal to 1.719 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 2 meters.